Let's talk about the best alternative to X106 camera, a budget alternative, a better alternative if you want a camera able to do it all or even better than X100. Let's talk about this now. Hi there and welcome to my channel. My name is Tudor Matescu and I like to talk about photography tips, sticks and photography gear. And I want to share with you from my long time experience in using X100 cameras, Fujifilm cameras, an alternative, a better alternative, I would say, and a budget alternative. Again, better depends from person to person, but I'm addressing to the general public, not to people that are wanting to buy an X100V, X100C camera to make a billboard printing or a huge resolution printing and so on. No, for street photographers, for family photographers, for someone who is looking for a camera that it's wanting to take memories and to take pictures in holidays, in travel situations and so on. So, X106 has IBIS, okay, has an F2 lens, okay, a sharp lens, okay, a silent lift shutter, okay, flash, okay, and it's portable. And again, it's not pocketable. Let's forget the word pocketable. Who is saying X106 is a pocketable camera? It's lying. You can't put X106 in your pocket. Of course, if you want to drop it, or if you have big, big pockets, but the only X100 camera that was pocketable, it was X100 Fine Peaks, the first camera. And if you want to see that buying guide of the X100 cameras, please check the next video after this video. So subscribe and like my video to get notified for my next videos. But now let's address a camera that I've used tete a tete with X100 series camera. I've used this camera with X100 Fine Peaks. I've used this camera with X100V, with X100F, and in the future with X106. And this camera, it delivers and it delivers and it delivers. I think this camera also has eight, nine years. I don't know exactly but it has many ears and it's a small camera with interchangeable lenses. So a huge advantage compared to X100V and also it has IBIS and it's rangefinder looking and it's taking great video files, amazing good quality and colored video files. It's a workhorse of a camera. You can use it in any situation. You can use it in studio photography. You can use it in studio vlogging, in uh, over the top. You can film long videos over the table. It's not overheating and it has great IBIS. It has a viewfinder. It has tilt screen. It has enough buttons. So this camera, it is called Lumix GX9. It's a camera that some users are knowing about it, but some aren't knowing about this camera. Now, Lumix GX9 in this video, it is paired with a great lens from Olympus. And I will tell you immediately about the advantage of this lens compared to X100V and 6 because it has a great advantage. So it is paired with 70 millimeters F1.8 lens from Olympus, a sharp lens. From my test, this lens is sharp for my eyes. Again, I don't want to prove nothing to nobody. It's as sharp as X100V lens. And it will offer you the same field of view and subject to background separation in 90% of the cases like X100V. Yes, X100V in some cases and in some situations will deliver a little more CD pop, a little more subject to background separation because it's an APS-C lens and sensor. But this lens, it is almost 90% there or even, I don't know, 95% there. So in real world use, if I'm not pixel peeping, this lens will deliver as an X100 camera because it is such a great lens and it has an f1.8 lens to compensate for the micro four thirds sensor so the micro four thirds sensor it's a great sensor the gx9 sensor it's a great sensor with acceptably noise levels i have no problems in using the sensor at iso 3200 or even more but more than that more than that the camera 
has great IBIS. The IBIS of GX9 is even better than the IBIS of X106. It's even better. So the IBIS in video and for photography, it is great. I was able to handhold with this camera one second shots at 70 or 100 millimeters equivalent field of view with some Olympus lenses and so on. So I have many long exposure shots with this camera and I have no problem in acquiring those shots. It's not like on X100 V that I have to press many, many times to get one second exposure. No, it's doing the job fast and easy. More than that, it is filming 4K videos with an acceptably small crop, but more than that, you can take pictures, JPEG and RAW files when you are taking videos with GX9. No other camera is able to do this. It is crazy for this, for documenting family moments by taking pictures and videos in the same time. Again, amazing, really, really amazing future. It's staying great in the hand. It has a nice grip. It has a nice weight to it. It is as compact as X100V and for sure at X106. It has a viewfinder that it's an okay viewfinder. Again, not very great. Some users are calling terrible. I don't know. It's okay. It's doing the job. I didn't have problems. I'm not wowed about the viewfinder, but it's doing the job. It has a flash that I can change it and I can bounce it. This isn't possible with X100V. So it has flash. I can bounce the flash. Very important. More than that, the mechanical shutter, it is very, very silent. Very silent mechanical shutter, crazy. It's crazy how silent it is. It's as silent as a leaf shutter. Yes, it's not a leaf shutter, but it's very silent. It has great touch to screen options. So you can shoot by touching the screen without problems. Just touch and take the picture, touch and take the picture. It is very simple. Also, it has JPEG color controls like on X100V. Yes, it doesn't have so much uh, JPEG color controls, but it's enough. You can get some beautiful pictures in colored profile or in black and white profiles. So this camera will deliver it in all situations regarding photography and videography with great IBIS. I can shoot this camera with my loosely hands. I don't have any problems. I don't have to be attentive. I don't have to be attentive how I was with X100V. I can shoot, pam, 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 pam should take the picture and move on because the IBIS is doing a great job. I can't do this with X-T5 and for sure I will not be able to do this with X-106, but I can do this with this camera. So it's delivering, but the cherry on top that no X-100 camera has, the cherry on top is that you have with this Olympus 17 millimeters F1.8 lens, you have a manual focusing clutch. So you are able to see that this lens, now it is in fully manual focusing mode, mechanical focusing mode mechanical focusing mode, like a true mechanical lens. This is great stuff if you want to use zone focusing, if you want to manual focus fast with this lens and body. Also, remember that you have interchangeable lenses on this camera. You can put a small micro four third zoom and you will not need to crop. You will not need to crop. I do advise get a zoom. Get a small micro force zoom, like uh, 12 to 45, like 12 to 40 f2.8 if you want some performance in low light. And you don't have to crop, and it's better not to crop for photography and uh, for many reasons. So this camera and lens can be bought at half the price at least compared to X106. And in the end, it will deliver the same image quality or I don't know if not even better results in some situations. Again, it depends on situation and situation. But regarding those situations, I'm thinking about situations when you need IBIS, when you need long exposure shots. These Micro Four Thirds sensor on this camera are performing amazing well. But also you can get a better camera, a better Micro Four Thirds camera that will deliver better than this camera. But it's not a rangefinder looking camera. Look how small is that camera. It is called Olympus OMD M10 Mark IV. Look how small it is. The only problem is that this camera, it's a not a rangefinder looking camera. So it's an SLR camera like XT30 Mark II, another great option talking about X100V, X106. But this camera, if you want IBIS, if you want IBIS, it is one of the best camera for IBIS. 
I'm able to handhold at least three seconds with this combo, two seconds without problems and get sharp pictures. So great camera if you want IBIS. It doesn't have any sense to pay the IBIS in X106. If you are asking me, I am not pro IBIS in X106. Of course, that IBIS will help the 40 megapixel sensor. But if you don't want to spend so much money on X106 and if you want a fast AF lens and a very capable body, a very capable body, then GX9 is uh, for you. No regrets in uh, buying and in using this camera. This is my all time favorite camera, my all time favorite camera, even more than X Pro 3. It is such a great camera for the price it's doing so much more. This is the best value camera for the money invested in such a body. Again, what you get from this body, it is much, much more than what you can get from an X106, X100V camera. It is much more because you have really good video specs. I've used this camera in videography, in over the top tables, long videos. My wife used it for her painting videos and it delivered, it delivered and it delivered without overheating, without dying after one hour of shooting and even more. So a great camera. I have no words in uh, praising this camera, how great it is and how good it is. Again, for the price, for the price, it's deserving the price without problems. If you're on a budget, then don't worry. This is the camera for you. Also, you have again JPEG controls. You have JPEG controls. You can set the shadows, contrast, highlights, uh, and so on. You have curve tone and so on and so on. You have white balance shift. You have grain. You have sharpness. You have all the settings that you have on a Fujifilm camera, but also you have on this camera minimum shutter speed. On Olympus, you don't have this. You can do a workaround, but eh? so this is my X106 budget replacement. If you want those goodies, IBIS, great video and having the chance to change lenses and having the chance to customize JPEGs and the image quality again for me, for my taste, for my eyes, it is similar with X106 when you are using the 17 millimeters f1.8 lens. But if you want to know about my Fujifilm X100V X106 buying guide, please check my next video. In that video, I'm showing you how I've used X100 series cameras for over 10 years and what are my recommendations for X100 cameras. Please check the next video, click it right now. Thank you and I will talk to you soon.